So why I quit my job working in higher education. So I was a compliance coordinator and academic advisor at a division one institution in their athletic department. And the main reason why I decided to stop working there was the pay. Along with the hours it required and really the lack of upward mobility in my eyes, especially the institution that I was working at. I feel like in order to succeed at working in an athletic department, you first have to be a fan of the institution and collegiate athletics as a whole. And me being a former collegiate athlete, I was none of that. <laughs> Um, I wasn't even a fan of the college that I played football at until I went there. So to have that perspective and lens to look through of fandom is just not something that I have. Being a former Division I quarterback, my perspective was a little bit different about the college athlete experience. Yes, it was a great opportunity to build upon myself and for others to build upon themselves. But I also saw the other side of it that chewed up and spit out a lot of athletes without adequately preparing them for life after athletics. And that's the part that I really disliked because um, I know guys that came into college athletics with you know hopes and dreams as we all do, but left broken in a fraction of themselves and a fraction of that person that came into that institution with those high hopes and dreams. Um, so I think that's where I don't particularly like college athletics and to serve an administration that kind of perpetuates that just didn't sit right with me. Two, the upper mobility. So there are really only three or four positions that you can transition into the highest being the athletic director when you're working in athletics, if you're not on the coaching side. Then we have the pay, especially relative to the number of hours it requires to effectively serve in a collegiate athletic department, yeah. um, especially when you're wearing more than one hat. One of the things that I miscalculated was the commute cost. So this school that I was working at was about 30 or 40 miles outside of t the town that I actually lived in and to drive about 100 miles a day in the vehicle that I had <laughs> um, wasn't cost effective and I miscalculated what it was going to do to my take home pay which in turn actually had me bringing in less money than I left prior to me taking that position I mean I'm just going to tell the truth I feel like I just valued my time more than they were willing to compensate, to be honest. And more than that, industry was willing to compensate, really. Met and came across some great people working in higher ed and still keep in contact with them today. But I just don't feel like that career track um, is what I wanted. And, and I would have been unhappy staying there any longer. And the truth is, if I decided to stay and the higher ed track and working in that position I was working in, I would probably still be there. Because the pay ended up being so little, it wouldn't have afforded me the opportunity to save money in order to seek employment elsewhere. It was just enough to pay my bills, pay for gas, and eat throughout the month, and barely make it to the next month just to repeat the same cycle. And I wouldn't have the opportunities in front of me that I have in front of me, and I wouldn't be as happy with what I'm doing as I am now. So if you're not willing to create a plan and then start taking the steps to execute that plan, then you will always be really doomed to whatever society is willing to give you. You should look at the story about the man who bargained with life for a penny. I'm going to start documenting things, um, especially my day-to-day -day projects and real estate activities. And I'm also going to start reacting to videos. So if you want to hear more about my work in college athletics, or if you have some video suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe.